There's one magical, haunted evening each year when all the scary creatures come out to prowl through every neighborhood. But here's the scariest monster of all. Do you know why? This little witch doesn't know it, but she's taking some frightening chances of being hurt. Maybe badly hurt. Her costume is very, very dangerous. Can you see the things that make it dangerous? What about that mask? She can hardly see through those tiny holes for her eyes. If you were wearing that mask, here's what it would be like. You can see straight in front of you, but unless you happen to turn your head, you wouldn't see that car coming as you start to cross the street. You could be run over. And unless you look down, you can't see that you're coming to a curb. Oh, that hurts. It's bad enough to take a tumble on hard pavement, but it would be even worse to sprawl out on the street in front of a car coming. Now let's imagine that we're in that car. Can you see her clearly? Why not? What is there about her costume that makes it hard to see her? As the driver of a car or truck, you might not see her until it's too late. And that's really scary. Before we think about some ways that the little witch could see and be seen better, let's take another look at her costume. Whoops, down she goes again. It seems as if she's collecting more bumps and bruises than candy tonight. Let's see if we can help her, shall we? And by helping her, maybe you can learn some things that will help you stay safe at Halloween. First, we need to turn back the clock and start this whole evening over again. One of the problems with this costume is that it's too long. It's too easy to trip over a long, full skirt. So we can shorten the skirt. You should always shorten any skirt, pants, slacks, or cape that is too long or floppy. Now, the broom. That's a clumsy thing to carry, and it's something that you're likely to trip over in the dark. It's usually easy to shorten brooms or round off the sharp points of pirate swords and other costume parts that can trip you or scratch you. Cardboard brooms and swords are usually safer than wooden ones, but it's safest not to carry anything like that in the first place. Now what else might we change on this costume to make it safer? What about that color? Remember how hard it was to see the little witch because of her dark costume on a dark night? We should always wear light, bright colors on the street at night so drivers can see us. What about this color? A white costume makes an unusual different kind of witch who's more likely to be safe on Halloween night. A good way to make any costume easier to see at night is to decorate it with reflective tape or reflective patches. Some costumes come with reflective material already attached to the cloth. Here's what it looks like to a car driver. It's easy to see, even on the darkest night. And while you're putting reflective tape on the costume, you should also add some of it to the bag or container you'll use to carry home your candy. Some special Halloween sacks are treated with reflective material when they're made. And it's a good idea to write your name, address, and phone number on the sack, just in case there is an accident. Now, how about the mask? Any problem with it? Do you remember how hard it was to see out through those little eye holes? To be safe at night, you have to be able to see clearly, as well as be seen. We can improve the mask by cutting larger holes to look out of. There, that's better, but there is an even safer way. You can simply not wear a mask. Oh, you think you need a mask to disguise yourself? 
Well, just watch what you can do. With a little help from your parents and some scraps of cloth or old clothes from around home. An eyebrow pencil, different colors of eyeshadow, rouge, lipstick, an old mop or wig, some wax teeth, maybe some clay and food coloring, and a few other odds and ends. You'd be surprised what you can turn yourself into. Whether you buy a costume or design your own, be sure that it's made of flame retardant material. That means material that won't catch on fire easily. Now our little witch has turned into a beautiful princess and her new costume is much safer. But there are a few other things you should do before going out. First, eat a big dinner. If you go trick-or-treating while you're hungry, you'll be tempted to sample some of your treats while you're out, and that's definitely not a good idea. Keep an eye on the clock. In many places, the police set the hours that you should trick-or-treat. Trick-or-treat only within those times. Neighbors should be ready with treats for you and drivers should be more careful to watch for you during those hours. Make sure you carry a flashlight when you go. The light will not only help you see where you're going in the dark, but it will also make it easier for others, including drivers, to see you. Always travel with a group, not alone. It's safer still to have a parent along to keep an eye on things. And of course, you should always walk. Riding a bicycle at night is always dangerous, but it's even more dangerous to try to ride in a costume at night. As you go from house to house, stay on the sidewalks as much as possible. If you have to walk in an area where there are no sidewalks, walk as far off the roadway as possible and face the traffic. That way you can see what's coming and get out of the way if you have to. Cross streets only at brightly lighted corners, not in the middle of the block and never between two parked cars. When you start across the street, cross quickly but don't run and don't stop in the middle of the street for any reason. Stay in your own neighborhood when you're trick-or-treating. Your neighbors are probably hoping to see you in costume on Halloween. And it's safest to visit people you know. If you don't know the people very well, don't go into their homes. Most people enjoy having trick-or-treaters come to their doors. But there are a few people who will do things to hurt kids. They might put sharp or hard objects in candy and apples. Or they might put something on fruit or gum that could make you sick if you eat it. To be completely safe, save your treats until you get home. Then ask your parents to help you check them carefully to make sure that there's nothing in them or on them that could hurt you. The safest treats are usually candy or gum that come in their own wrappers from the factory. Fruit should be washed before you eat it. And all candy bars and fruit should be sliced so you can be certain that there is nothing hard or sharp inside that could hurt you. If you're not sure whether something is safe or not, don't take any chances. Throw it away. But let's get back to the fun part of Halloween with the princess and her friends. Almost everyone enjoys a good joke or riddle. What's your trick? What you guys eat for breakfast? What? Best toasters. <laughs>
What's, what's a wiener when you take out its insides? What? A Halloween. Where does Dracula keep his money? Where? In a blood bank. Here, have some candy. However, some practical jokes and pranks aren't so funny. If you should break something, it wouldn't be very funny to the owners or to your parents, who might have to pay for it. So keep your jokes funny and harmless. Tonight has been a magical night. We saw a scary monster changed into a beautiful, happy, and safe little princess. How about you? Will you follow the lead of the little princess and have a safe and super Halloween this year? Halloween is really a special time, isn't it? Especially for me. You can see why if you know who I am. Look up a little. <laughs> That's me, a jack-o'-lantern. At Halloween time every year, I sit up here and watch everybody go by. It's a nice and scary time, isn't it? All those wonderful costumes and masks and makeup. I think about how much fun Halloween is. I also worry a little bit about the things that can spoil the fun of Halloween. Those kinds of things scare me too, but in a different way. For instance, look next door. That's where Corey lives. Corey, have you got that pumpkin ready yet? Yes, yes. Corey's going to carve a pumpkin with her this dad. Weighs 50 pounds. That's a big one. It probably weighs close to that. Probably. Come on here and set it down. Okay. And get the paper straightened out. How's that? That's fine. Have you decided what kind of face you're going to make on it yet? A happy face. I'll do that. Now, a pumpkin's not easy to carve. I know that. You need the proper tools. But Don't first, you have to draw a face that you can carve. Corey's doing that. That's a nice pumpkin face. Thank you. Let's see if we can cut the top off now. Then you cut the top off so you can scoop out the insides. It takes a sharp knife, and you know sharp knives can be dangerous if they're not used right. I'm glad that Corey's father is helping her. It's much safer that way. Eager to get inside? Yeah. Go ahead and pull that off. Ew, look. You ever seen the inside of a pumpkin before? Yeah. Not that way. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's start cleaning it out. Getting my inside scooped out tickles me. <laughs> It'd tickle you, too, if, if you were a pumpkin. So far, it's been fun. But look at Corey's hand. <laughs> kind of gooey, isn't it? Corey is going to carve the face with a small knife. Can you imagine how that knife could slip and maybe cut her? I hope Corey will do the safe thing. Good, that's a lot better. A clean, dry hand can hold a knife safely and cut with it safely, too. Cut slowly, carefully, in small slices, and always cut away from yourself. Thank you. Make sure there's an adult or someone a lot older than you who can help you if you need help. That's the safe way to carve a pumpkin. I'm glad Corey isn't going to spoil her Halloween fun. Carve carefully. That's one way to have a Halloween that's fun 
and safe. But what about having a candle burning inside your pumpkin? Well, I'm sitting on brick. But a candle and a pumpkin on a wooden porch might not be safe at all. A flashlight could be a lot safer then. But it's best to stay away from lighted candles that are inside or outside of jack-o'-lanterns. You know why. Well, not everybody carves a pumpkin on Halloween, but just about everybody does dress up in a costume. For instance, look across the street there. Do you see what I see? That robot is Jeremy in his costume. Well, it may look great from the outside, but from the inside, things don't look very good at all. Jeremy can't see very well with his robot head on, and I don't think the rest of his costume lets him walk very well. He can't bend his knees. How are you going to walk in that way? I don't know. It's hard for Jeremy to keep his balance. If Jeremy went out like that, he might keep losing his balance all the time. He might fall down just anywhere, and probably everywhere. Sidewalks hurt you when you fall on them, and so do streets. And streets are especially dangerous to fall down on. Jeremy has to be able to walk better if he doesn't want to spoil his Halloween fun. There, that's better. A costume shouldn't make you trip or fall. That's not safe. It should be easy for you to move in your costume. And you have to be able to see where you're going. Look, Jessica. A mask that makes it hard to see could get see you into all well. kinds of trouble. There, that's much better. Jeremy can see well now better. and move safely in his costume, too. Now I'm try oh, but look at Jessica. She can't see much with her mask on. It's too big for me. A monster needs an ugly face. But does it have to be a mask? Makeup can be just as good, and it's always just the right size for you. Just don't get it in your eyes. Okay. Get another one. If you're not too good at putting on makeup, get an adult to help you. Make sure your mask and costume let you see well and walk well, and they won't spoil your fun on Halloween. Of course, the reason you get all dressed up at Halloween is so you can have fun going trick-or-treating. And I like to see all the children out in their costumes. But when I see them, I always hope they don't forget all they know about crossing streets safely. And I hope you don't either. That's especially important when drivers can't see you well. And for you to see the cars well, it's a good idea to take off your mask when you cross. Even though it may not be night yet, it's dark enough to make things outdoors hard to see, you and the cars. It makes me so happy when I see children look to their left for cars, then right for cars, then left again before they cross. You mustn't forget all the safety rules you know on Halloween, and especially because it's dark. It's safest not to cross between parked cars. That can be very dangerous. And don't cut across yards or empty lots. When it's dark, you can't see what's there. Remembering safety rules is very important on Halloween. There's something else that can help keep you safe outside when it's dark. You'll see right away. Yes, just as I thought. They're coming up my walk now. The people who live in my house like to take pictures of the children who come by. Okay, we're going to take a picture for a treat, too. Everybody smile. Smile. Now you'll see what there is about their costumes that makes it easier for drivers to see them when it's dark. Do you see how easy it is to see the bright colors in the costumes? Bright colors are easier to see at night than dark colors are. But there's something else. Some parts seem to glow from the camera flash. That's how those parts will look when car headlights shine on them. Those are just pieces of special tape that reflect light very well. You can put tape like that on your costume and on your trick-or-treat bag. Some costumes already have reflecting material on them. Making your costume and your bag easy to see makes you easy to see. And that's a good way to help make Halloween safe. 
The safer Halloween is, the more fun it is for you and for me. That's what I think. But some people have a strange idea of fun. They think it's fun to mess up other people's things with paint. They don't think about how the people feel whose things are ruined. And some people think it's fun to throw things at cars and houses and buildings. But the people whose things they're messing up don't. I don't either. It isn't fun to spoil other people's things and make them unhappy. Some people even think it's fun to smash pumpkins. Oh no, that's not fun. Not for all the people who work so hard carving pumpkins, and especially not for us pumpkins. Whew, wow, that was close. Some people don't know what fun really is. I do, and I'll bet you do too. And I know they do. Trick-or-treating is always fun. But there are some things you should remember to help keep it fun. One thing is to always go out with friends. And have an adult come along, too. Don't ever trick-or-treat alone. And if someone you don't know very well invites you in. Look, tonight. Would you like to come in? I have more treats inside. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's right. Say, no thanks. And don't eat the treats while you're collecting them. Stay in your own neighborhood. Don't get too far from home. Don't worry, you'll collect enough treats. People are expecting you. And even if you don't stop at houses with no outside lights on, which you shouldn't, you'll have a wonderful time at Halloween. Some of you will probably still be out when it's really dark. That's when flashlights are an especially good idea. To help you watch out for places you might fall or stumble over if you didn't see them. But remember, don't shine those flashlights into anybody's eyes, especially a driver's eyes. That could be dangerous. It isn't hard to have a safe Halloween. Just look how easy it is to see those children when they cross. They wouldn't want an accident to spoil their Halloween fun. I wouldn't want that to happen either. Trick-or-treating is almost over this Halloween for Corey and Jessica and Jeremy. It's almost time for them to head for home. But what do you do with all the treats you've collected? A lot of them are things to eat, of course. But you don't eat them all, at least not right away, that's for sure. And there might be some you won't want to eat at all. Get a grown-up to help you decide, or at least someone a lot older than you. You see, some people think it's fun to play tricks with your treats. Watch out for candy wrappers that have been torn or punctured. That might be a sign of tampering. There might be things in the candy, so break open candy bars before you eat them. Cut fruit into pieces before you eat it, just in case something's been stuck in it. Watch out for things that look like candy, but might be medicines or drugs or even poisons. Don't eat anything that doesn't look right. If it looks funny, it might not be so funny if you ate it. Treats are so much fun to collect, it'd be awful to have them spoil your Halloween fun by making you sick. Corey's treats won't make her sick, and I hope yours won't make you sick either. I hope you can have the most fun you've ever had this Halloween. Halloween can be a scary time, not because of witches or ghosts that we know aren't real, but because of real things that can spoil our fun. Just remember these few important things I've told you about. Carve your pumpkin carefully. Make sure that you can see. And make sure people can see you. Remember all your safety rules and take off your mask when you cross a street. Trick or treat! Trick or treat in your own neighborhood and don't keep any treats that don't look right. If you can do all that, then you won't have to worry about scary, real things happening on Halloween, right? Right.
Have a fun and a safe Halloween. Halloween.